Okay, hi everyone. This is um, just a recording or a video for class on Tuesday, June 1st. Um, so my son actually broke his arm over the weekend and I have to get him to the doctor. So we will still meet for lab today uh, around two o'clock p.m. Um, for our in-person lab, okay? So just a little, just a few updates to where we're at. If we look at the syllabus here, um, <clears throat> we are in the week of 6-1, right? Module 7 through 9. We're not quite at these chapters yet, but we will be um, onto those chapters for next week, for next Tuesday. So the lab we're going to be doing in person today is the diffusion and osmosis lab, and that's just in person. And I'll show you Moodle in a second where I basically posted the protocol for you guys, okay? Um, this enzyme lab will be due for next week, okay? And again, I'll point that out for you all or remind you about it on Thursday. Remember, we also do not have class on Thursday, June 3rd live, but obviously there are lots of recorded lectures to listen to, lots of assignments to do. Um, I may also post another video like this where I go over the homework assignments that are due June 3rd and introduce chapter seven and eight for you guys. Okay, so just a heads up on that. I'll, I'll let you know about that. But for now, we're just focusing, like I said, this is updates for June 1st and making sure that we're prepared for our in-person lab this afternoon. Okay, so we will have in-person lab this afternoon. We just will not have our Zoom meeting at 1130. Okay, so like I said, this is where we are, chapter seven through eight, but really we have to finish chapters five and six. And I sort of told you guys, just worry about chapters five and six really for Thursday, for June 3rd, okay? Um, <clears throat> this chemical composition of cells lab is due by lab time today. Um, also, there's the parts of the cell, kind of two separate assignments. Those, were that, those two are due by today. You need that information to be able to do the diffusion and osmosis lab today, okay? So that's where we're at. We're in module seven through nine this week, chapter seven and eight, but we're not quite there yet. So we should be focusing on chapters five and six right now, and then moving on to chapter seven through seven and eight, probably for Thursday, okay? Um, all right, so let me just, again, pull up Moodle just to see where we're at here. So like I said, this diffusion and osmosis lab is happening today. This is the lab protocol. So if you click on this, you guys should have this with you for lab, okay? Um, <clears throat> either, and if you have the lab manual, you can just bring the lab manual to class as well. This is in the lab manual, okay? Um, you can print this out, you can have it on your computer, whatever you wanna do, but you need to have access to this lab. This is what we're gonna be doing. So we'll be doing this part with some Elodea, which is just an aquatic plant, um, just to look at the effects of, uh, it's basically osmosis, right? The, the lab is called diffusion and osmosis. So if you place that aquatic, those plant cells in a solution that has a high salt concentration, what will happen, okay? Um, so we're gonna do that. We also are gonna do this speed of diffusion lab, okay? And we'll talk a little bit about the background information as well, but um, I think it's important to read over this before coming to lab. Um, also to understand osmosis and diffusion and hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic solutions. Okay, like I said, we'll talk about it and I'll review it on the board a little bit, but good to have some of that background information going in. Okay, so we will do this um, speed of diffusion lab and then you're gonna write up a little mini lab report. That's really gonna be the only assignment from this lab. I'll, I will again explain that later on um, when we're in lab. So we'll do the speed of diffusion lab and then we'll also do this solute diffusion across a plasma membrane as well, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna be doing. Like I said, we'll also be doing the exercises with Elodea, okay? So they're, it's here and then on that first page and like I said, I will explain that to you. We will not, um, really be performing this tonicity on red blood cells, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in respect to these pictures here. So again, good idea to read the background information. Um, I mentioned these, these terms, right? Isotonic solution, hypertonic, and hypotonic. We're basically gonna look at the effects 
of placing cells in these types of solutions, both animal cells and also plant cells, like I mentioned. So that, so kind of the first, just so you guys know how lab is gonna go and kind of how we understand it. This first picture with the Elodea, which is plant cells, um, really is kind of part of this tonicity part of the lab. So like I said, we'll talk about um, the effect of these different types of solutions on both animal cells and also on plant cells, okay? So that, that first page kind of pertains to this. We'll kind of do that together. Then we will also do the speed of diffusion. Okay, if I get back up here, we'll do the speed of diffusion lab. And then we will do this solute diffusion across a plasma membrane, okay? So osmosis and diffusion, those are the concepts that we're gonna be covering in lab. Okay, then just to go back to um, what's due and where we're at, we all took the exam, right? Exam one, chapters one through four, okay? So we're now on chapter, focusing on chapters five, six, um, seven, and eight, essentially, for, for this week and kind of finishing off last week. OK, um, so if we're at make sure that you handed in your completed exam one review sheet. There's one person who hasn't handed it in based on this here. So um, remember, it's you adding all your notes into that review sheet. OK, so this cell structure and function lab should be due. It's due by lab time by two o'clock today. Um, also. This. That's up here, sorry. The chemical composition of cells lab, right? Also due by two o'clock today, okay? Because again, you need this information moving into the lab, the live lab today, okay? So like I said, we were basically finished off chapters one through four. Now we're on to chapters five, six, seven, and eight. So um, chapter five is membrane structure and function. So again, listening to that recorded lecture and knowing that material moving into the lab is helpful as well, okay? But we definitely by Thursday need to be up to date with chapters five and six. And in fact, your chapter five and six homework are due on Thursday, June 3rd, okay? Like I said, I will post another video where I go over the homework assignments and also introduce the next two chapters and maybe also review a little bit chapter five and six, okay? I can also answer questions from chapters five and six or do a little review if we have time in lab today as well, okay? So if you have questions, please let me know just because we're not gonna be meeting via Zoom live this week. My plan was to meet today, but unfortunately, like I said, um, that my son broke his arm, I have to take him to, I gotta get him to the orthopedic today. Um, and so then I'm hoping to take him earlier and then I'll still have, have lab. So if something changes, I will let you guys know. Um, chapter six, remember that homework assignment is also due on Thursday, June 3rd, okay? So metabolism, energy, and enzymes, this is really gonna set up for chapter seven and eight, okay? Um, so chapter seven and eight, just so you know, photosynthesis and then cellular respiration, okay? Um, <clears throat> Chapter in seven and eight homework will be due next week, okay? Chapter six quiz I have due next week as well, all right? But again, chapter five, six homework is due Thursday, and then I will repost another video um, going over the homework, I'll, or I'll make available the answers, but I will do something so that you guys can go over those answers for those homework assignments. Um, do plan on, we will also be having a lab exam, okay? So take a look. Again, you can look ahead here. We're really in module six and seven. So module seven, module six. Like I said, we're finishing off some of the other stuff um, before that. But you can take a look here at the, the lab exam we're gonna be having. Okay, there is a review sheet for the lab exam as well. So that pertains to all the labs we've done, okay? Up into this this week's lab, the diffusion and osmosis lab, all right? Uh, and, then, and then also for next week, we are going to have another exam, okay? Exam two, I'll most likely kind of do the same thing I did with this last exam. Towards the end of the week, next week, it'll be, a, be available, or in the middle of the week, next week, it'll be available, and I'll let you guys know about that. I'll make sure we have a Zoom meeting um, before I make that exam available. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, I apologize for not being able to meet via Zoom this week, but th there's only so much I can do. Um, like I said, please let me know if you have questions or there's something specific you want me to go over, I will do that. All right, 
Um, and that is pretty much it. Oh, the other thing is, and I have to I have to fix the, these dates here, uh, but for exam two, the review sheet is here. Okay, so just so you guys know, the next exam will cover chapters five, six, seven, and eight. There is the review sheet here. You should have that review sheet out with you when you're listening to the recorded lectures. Okay, so remember that. So that's all the way down in module nine. It's just because I put the review sheet where I have the exam. Okay, so um, like I said, we will review for this next exam next week. I will then make that exam available and we are going to be then moving on to the next chapter next week as well. Okay, so it's kind of the same same way we did it for this first exam. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later in lab.